Yo, what is up, channel fam? Hey, take a look. It's Mr. Crosshairs, and we're going to do an unboxing. And no, 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 no. It's, um, uh, sorry, I just did a Crosshairs video. It's Mr. Uh, point Blank. Yeek. My bad. Yeah, they cut me a little slack. Uh, they got similar colors, it kind of, to some extent, and they turn into cars. My bad, dude. My bad. So, uh, yeah, this video is off to a great start, but I'm going to do an unboxing and a reaction with this guy. Uh, I do remember this dude from back in the day. I remember him being a target master. For some reason, his face does not look that familiar to me. Like, I don't know if they changed it or something, but... I don't know. I felt like he looked different. Like, like he had ears or something. Like, he had pointy ears. I don't know. I should look that up. Probably do my homework, but um, whatever. Um, over here, we have Peacemaker. This is an interesting dichotomy. Point Blank and Peacemaker, right? Are these... I don't know. Like, gun jokes or something like that? I don't know. But um, he looks pretty cool. He has these cool, nice, like, flared-out shoulder pauldrons. Uh, almost as if, you know, how the a lot of the scrap hook combiners have been looking. That's kind of cool. Um, and, yeah, the the colors actually um, remind me of um, Hot House a lot, you know? Which reminds me, there's a build that I'm going to be showing. I don't know in, in which sequence, but it's a Perceptor and Hot House build, and I'm pretty excited to bring that to you. Whoa, it was interesting. With the camera, with the, what is it, the... Um, not the brightness, the, the exposure up, you can see that there's this kind of like glow uh, on this guy, which is kind of interesting. Um, you ever have that, by the way, when you when you um, like go swim at the Y or something like that, or one of those public pool areas, and there's just like way too much chlorine, and then afterward you come out and then everything looks like blurry? No? No, you know what I'm talking about? No, maybe not. Um, maybe I should wear goggles instead of just opening my eyes in the water. Yeah, that'll probably help. Um, but yeah, interesting little guy over here. He look, almost looks like a tiny little bird or something, right? Or some like animal, some creature. Um, we've got the cool like art um, that that uh, this that this line of these lines of uh, this line of toys is uh, known for. Uh, kudos to the artist, by the way. And um, rather than you know slowly open this guy up with uh, methodical scissors and exactos and stuff, we're just gonna Hulk smash this guy. Well, not Hulk smash, but you know we're just gonna tear into him, right? Just like an eight-year-old would. Ah, so sorry, bud. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Everything's just, yeah, ripping apart. So I'm, oh, accessory burrito. Check that out. You know what this also reminds me of? It's just kind of gross. Sometimes, like, dude, when my toys have been on display too long, I'll find, like, a spider egg sack. Oh, lordy, that just grosses me out so much. Um, but, yeah, it reminds me of that. Inside, we have his instructions. By the way, on some of the instructions, like the the Star Saber one, dude, it's all in color, dude. It's pretty rad. Um, and some of the other ones, like Holiday Prime, they they come with like Holiday Deco on them and stuff. And uh, yeah, I like the fact that a lot of these not standard ones, but the other ones actually have different colors infused. I've seen a green one, a blue one, a red one, um, yeah, and standard um, standard instructions. And my favorite, that little piece of paper to strengthen and tighten uh, those joints that, um, or, or the ports and pegs that don't stick well together. Oh, let's see what's in the accessory burrito. Oh no, don't tell me that they put the target master in here. Oh no, <laughs> you all right, man? Go <laughs> hardly breathe in there. Whoa, whoa. He's not like your other target masters that are out there. He has like no mobility whatsoever. <laughs> like, what? Like that? Ah, interesting. Yeah, I guess. I hope I hope that this is not the way uh, Target Master is going to be for it. I, I rather enjoyed them having uh, mobility and stuff. They felt like real, you know, real toys, real figures. Um, but he's cool. He's cool. I think I remember seeing Chefatron um, do a video and he talked about how he didn't like the plastic quality. And I can kind of see it's that same plastic, but it's just not as dense in certain areas. And... and and then you get that, like, um, you know, it feels like, it feels like reinforced shampoo bottle, kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah, but this, this, uh, this is kind of thick, this, um, this cardboard, so I'm not sure if an eight-year-old would necessarily be able to Hulk smash their way through all of this, but, ah, eh, they probably could, dude. Kids are wild, dude, and they eat a ton, too. And they, sometimes they got that special kid strength, ooh, that just came right off, that was pretty satisfying. Um... Yeah, not bad. Oh, yeah, dude. It's just coming right off. I hope I'm not stressing the toy in any way too much. Um, yeah, I got to be careful there. 
But yeah, let's just Hulk smash him some more. This is all coming apart. Good, 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 good. Oh, look at that. Harry Houdini, eat your heart out. We got him. We got him. No scissors or nothing. You just throw the stuff to the side. Clean up the area a little bit. And uh, yeah, I, I, I could see what some folks are talking about. He does. Like, just the plastic isn't that dense, you know? That plastic isn't that dense, which leads me to believe that he just has a lot of parts that that require this. Or it's because of this dude that, you know, because all of these have a budget, you know? They have a manufacturing cost, and that manufacturing cost has to be fixed because in order to calculate how much money they're going to make from a sale uh, and how much profit they're, they're going to make so that they can um, provide those to investors, the manufacturing cost has to be fixed. Let me put him down for a second and adjust the video. So from what I understand is, yeah, they all have fixed manufacturing costs. And so some areas they go hollow, uh, some areas they don't. Um, and if they haven't spent a lot of plastic, sometimes they can make the characters bigger, like in the case of Inferno. Um, but yeah, but he's nice. I, I like the colors, this like light blue on red really, really reminds me of Hot House. And so maybe I'll take him home tonight uh, rather than, than display him at work. Oh, interesting. Interesting. There are peg placement or port placements on the back on the shoulders. Um, and then we have some port placements on the inner arm. No, 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 no. It's not. Okay. Uh, I was about to get excited. I was like, oh my God. And then, so no, he just has them on his fists. He has them on the back of his shoulders. Uh, it's a shame that he doesn't have some on his forearm. Is this, does this come out? Does this? I don't know if this comes undone. Maybe not. Yeah, my buddy, uh, my buddy's uh, dad used to have a dog. It was a, it was a German Shepherd, and his name was Dunn. Just so he could say the joke of when he would call the dog, he'd be like, "Come on, Dunn!" Like, "Come on, Dunn!" Hilarious. Um, truly a dad joke. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Rest in peace, Mr. M. Yeah, rest in peace, Mr. M. He's a super cool dude, but he uh, passed away too early. Um, and so, yeah, we have ports on the side of his leg, ports underneath. That's all, like, pretty typical. Does he have one of them? Okay, yeah, he has one over here. So, okay, yeah. So if this dude is hollow, it's probably because he just had a bunch of bits where, I don't know, where the cost all went, you know? Or um, that's typically how it goes. They have a fixed cost, and, you know, they do what they can with it. Or sometimes it's the paint, sometimes it's the metal, um, whatever the case may be, you know? Uh, but, yeah, now this dude's chill. This dude's chill. I got him off of, like, um, Hasbro Pulse. Um, I don't know if he's uh, he's available readily right now in, in stores. I haven't seen him. But, um, yeah, I picked mine up at um, Pulse. You know, Pulse is weird. Like, I'm a Pulse, uh, Hasbro Pulse, what is it, premium member. And, like, yeah, you get free shipping and stuff like that. But a lot of times, dude, the other outlets get them first. You know, like Amazon, Entertainment Earth. And I'm not trying to plug these places, but, like, um, like Big Bad. Like, I don't know. They'll just get them before. They'll just get them beforehand, you know? So it's like, yeah, shipping's free and stuff. And I get it from Hasbro, I guess. But if I'm just like waiting and chilling, because it's like, I swear at least 50% of my purchases, I just buy on Amazon anyway. And I just double up the order and I just cancel whichever one comes uh, later. But, um, you know, it'd be nice if uh, Hasbro Pulse, being Hasbro, uh, for the premium members, you would get, um, I don't know, early shipping. Uh, dude, I think that would really drive up conversions a lot um, uh, for their subscription service. But at the same time, maybe they have contracts with the other groups that basically say, hey, you guys get first dibs. Um, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Interesting. Check this out. Oh, I don't I don't know how to transform this. I'm, I'm afraid that I'm going to break break it. But, you know, he has this cool little like cavity over here that I feel like. I don't know. Like, I feel like it could be like an exosuit or something like that, huh? We'll have to see. He's pretty neat. I don't think he's that bad. Yeah, I actually like him. Uh, but I got to check out what, what, that, what the deal with the head is. Because like I said, I feel like he didn't look like this. But um, anyway, hope the video was in focus and not too blurry. And uh, I will catch you all soon. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, I will talk to you all soon. Thank you for watching. All right. Take care. Bye.